Okay, everyone, for this video, we are going to get ourselves the Chariot Rekim. And to get that, we actually need to find ourselves the Suspicious Hat. So, I actually found it, and I found it right up there. But you'll need to do some type of OB. So, I would really recommend you guys to get yourself a stand that allows you to go up to that there. So, I'm going to do it very easily, so just follow where I'm going, or you can do it yourself if you want to. So, I just go up here, if you look there. I just wait, because I need to use my stand thingy. So, just going to wait some seconds or so, until we're able to use the stand. Look there, and then a little bit back, work out. Then we just wait some seconds, okay? That's what it's a, what's important is for us to be patient. Because I don't have a stand that allows me to teleport to the specific place that we're supposed to go. But if you look there, we are here! So this is the easiest part. You just need, all you need to do is just pretty much spam Zay. And once you spam Zay, you will not get overboard because this is the perfect, perfect jump. It's, okay, that was not perfect. It was perfect if I just didn't click anything. So as you can see here, we got ourselves the suspicious hat. There's also a scroll heel here, but we're not gonna need the scroll. All we need is the suspicious hat. If you say here, cool kid spot, this is the only spot for cool kids, apparently. So we're gonna put our scroll inside here because we don't really need that right now. And of course, we also need to put our scroll in the item storage. Why? You're gonna find that out later. Not now. Okay. So we just jumped over so we can get out of there. So we're gonna Roka ourselves because we don't actually need King Crimson. So what you need to do is get yourself the suspicious hat and use the suspicious hat without any stands. So you don't need stands, okay? That's not the whole purpose here. You need to take off that stand you have. If you look here, the scroll is gone. Sad. But right now, you need to take out your suspicious hat. Use the suspicious hat. And I don't have any stands, okay? This is what the suspicious hat looks like. I don't have any stands. We're gonna go ahead and click the suspicious hat. And we are going to finally get ourselves the Chariot Rikyo. Oh, look at that! I've actually never gotten this, even in the game. Because it, you have to wait, okay? This was the suspicious hat was a hard thing to get. You have to stay in one particular place, which finally, finally, I actually finally got it. And <laughs> in the most easiest way you got it. You know, this is the easiest way you get it. Just wait until the game, uh, you know, uh, the developers just quit on a game and start to make a new project. This is what it is. Now, let's just go ahead and um, show you guys some different stuff, sh such as the block. Particularly, there's no block or stand jump. There's no roll over. There's no poses. There's no written at the top either. But you do have a basic like left mouse button attack. So yeah. Now let's go to the next thing. So there's two passive move set for the um, for the chariot rigium. That's passive number A, which is reduce walking speed. You mean you are walking slower. Look how slow I am walking. So I am slow the most of the stand. The next one is passive B, which is Rikyo. So this stand and its user are able to see through time space related functions such as time arrays and can act within it. This does not include stop time. So that means my guess is that we will be able to move with time something. So if you do remember, King Crimson had some kind of time erasure, meaning we can do something with the time erasure. You know, gotta use that time erasure with, the, with this thing here. But now, let's 
let's just go ahead and go to the first move, which is going to be the Soul Deform Deformation. For this one, all you need to do is click E, and it will create this green thing. Whoever touches the green thing, thing their body will be apart from one another, meaning that their head and everything will be apart, and then it will like minus 80% of their health. Now, let's go to the next one, which is going to be the Erasing Blow. It's R, you need to click R. For this one, it also creates... Oh, it didn't. For this one, um, it doesn't. It didn't really create the blue, uh, the green thing. So this is uh, Chariot Tree Kim's best move. It will shoot one. It will one shoot anyone in the way of its attack. What? Oh, so that that strong punch can actually one hit people? Wow! Just wow! Now, let's go to the next one, which is the F1. It's called, oh shit, I dropped my Rikim, um arrow. So what this does is, Cherium's walk speed, speed shift to 35. Which will only last for 5 seconds. Go ahead and click F, and you walk faster. Look at that. Look at me just running faster. And then you go back to slow mode. You're like a, you know those, uh, the, uh, the slow poke, uh, Lopo, turtle, and the rabbit. I turned into a, I turn into a turtle right now, and then I just click F. Boom! I turn into a fast ass rabbit, and I was able to win the race. But it only lasts for five seconds, not forever. But that was literally it. It only had like three um, move set, but those three move set are pretty OP okay one shot who wants to get one shotted by this guy but there are some disadvantage with this stand but that would be literally it for this video that is the um, chariot Rikim. not really that special but once again the damage is overkill so yeah that would be it